What is up everyone? Here we are today with some champions run. We haven't done champions in a while. Uh, champions video, so I thought I'd make one. Um, especially since I've been meaning to also make a video about this deck here. This is the Bike Rush APC deck. I think this is the best GDI deck in the metagame right now. Um, it's pretty similar in nature to the Suzaku GDI. I think it is weaker to some things and stronger against others. But I believe the things it's stronger against are like largely the current metagame. So I think like Talon is really good in the metagame right now. I think the Orc is not amazing. Orc is okay in the metagame, but I think Jump Jets are really good as well right now. Jump Jet Talon is super strong versus Nod, and APC Pitbull is super strong versus GDI. So you basically have like both factions covered with these four units, and then you've got dogs and rifles to give yourself very strong early game. So anyway, I thought I'd roll these two videos into one and just do, just do, um, you know, Champs video and also the GDI Bike Rush deck video at the same time. So let's see how it goes. Establishing the deck plays pretty similarly to the Suzaku APC. It doesn't play dramatically different. The main difference is that now when someone makes a tank, instead of making an Orca and guarding your APC with the Orca, you make a jump jet and you get pretty aggressive with the jump jet and try and take out the tank as quickly as possible. This deck is less reliant on the plan of like a single strong APC. But, you know, it is still it's still an APC deck. You're still trying to set up APCs and then guard them with pitbulls. That is the core of your deck. But you get you also get like a little bit earlier, stronger early game with uh, with Rifle Dog than you would with the previous deck, which um, was just opening rifles. Also, with the Suzaku deck, you have to uh, you have to choose which building you're going to switch into. Whereas with this deck, you're just playing War Factory Barracks almost the whole time. Sometimes I'll go Talons instead of Barracks, but. Most of the time people have infantry and you want to go rifleman. Okay, so this guy opened Venom, which is insane. I'm just gonna let the... Let the Pitbull deal with this. And then the missile should fire. He's going double half, obviously. Gonna move this back so he doesn't get tentative. He did get like 20 from those scavengers, it's not that big a deal. And we want to harass the halves a little, see if he can, uh, see if we can make him make some units. And we'll get an APC now that we have a chance to get one set up. He's doing nothing, he's just waiting for tech. I guess we'll do this then, get this pitbull around here. Start double, a double pitbull on this AP, on this harvester. So he's just going to let me kill his halves, apparently. People, pitbull don't kill harvesters very quickly, so, you know. Has he actually just disconnected or is he saving? It looks like you might have given up, honestly. Like, at this point, he hasn't even rebuilt the half. Alright, so it looks like he's just given up, actually. I thought he was just saving for a tech unit, but... Yeah. Okay. Easy, easy games. You are victorious. Alright, so... Some more, some more differences between this deck and Suzaku APC. One of the really big advantages this deck has, which uh, the Suzaku APC struggles with, because you open dogs in this deck instead of opening barracks, um, it means that you can go straight into APC. Like, I can go APC as, like, my second or third unit, which I would do that with Suzaku APC, but it'd be a lot slower. Like, I'd go rifle, rifle APC quite a lot in GDI Mirrors, but it takes a long time to get that first APC. This deck, you can open dogs, your opponent opens the missiles, you can just go APC against them. You don't even have to transition to barracks, uh, which can be really, really powerful to get that APC out early. Now, there are some downsides to the deck. So, for example, things like Orca. Like, this is, normally with the normal deck, I could just make missiles and ward off Orcas forever. With this deck, I have to go Talons to fight Orcas, which is, like, a little bit weird. Although, having access to the APC does mean you can get missile troopers. Like, it's kind of a weird way to do it, but, like, you do you do still have access to Missile Trooper in your deck. Because when the APC dies, you get a Missile Troop. And that can be pretty useful, honestly. Sometimes you just, like, sometimes Missiles are just the best thing you can get, and paying 80 for them is not even that bad. Like, when you get an APC on the front as well. Um, now, this does mean the deck has some downsides. The, the main thing is that you're playing dogs instead of drones. Uh, that's one of the big changes. So, your anti-infantry becomes... Rifle, Dog, APC, and Talon, which is a lot of anti-infantry, but none of it actually hits very hard. Like, none of those units actually do a lot of damage when they attack, which means that, um, let me just worry about this Borker quickly. 
Yeah, so it means that you kill heavy infantry a lot slower than you would with Drone Swarm. So things like mutants are much bigger problem. Like mutants, flames, shocks can all be a much bigger problem than they would be for the Suzaku APC deck. Now, as I said, this deck I believe is better versus the current meta game. And there really isn't, like, flames and shocks, still not great in the meta game. They're, they're better than they were, but they're still not that common, so being a little bit weak to them isn't that big a deal. Mutant is, seems to be quite popular right now, but the biggest weakness of Mutant Chuggy is air, and you have access to talons, so, you know, it's not really that big a deal. You, 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 can, you can whittle away at them. But this deck is worse versus Mutants than the other APC deck. Alright, so Smoon has asked in chat, how would I deal with Buggy, Scorpion, Catship, Phantom deck? Um, it's the same way the other APC deck deals with it. The only difference is that now you make Jump Jets instead of Orca when they make Scorpion. It's a little bit ch tougher because you have to you have to keep away from the cat ships with your Jump Jets. Whereas normally you can um, normally you can ignore cat ships with your Orcas. But it's still fine. Like Jump Jets, Jump Jet. You can also just two v one Scorpions with Pit Bulls sometimes. Jump Jets just hit really hard. It's just about microing them. Like, if you micro the Jump Jets and the Pit Bulls correctly, you can beat Catch Up and Scorpion. Although it can be tough. And it is still it's still largely about getting that APC in position and, and and just, like, living off the back of APC being strong. You basically use APC to absorb shots. And then you can make Talons, which is good versus the Catch Ships and ignores the Scorpion. Basically, anytime you face Nod with this deck, your game plan is just to make uh, Jump Jets and Talons. Against GDR, your game plan is APC Pitbull, and against Nod, your game plan is Jump Jet Talon. Like, there's no there's no Nod deck that doesn't struggle with Jump Jet Talon, so that's pretty much your game plan against all Nod decks. Alright, we'll just walk past this turret and we'll get the APC onto the pad as well. Alright, block this out and we should be good. Strong Arm is pretty bad in this map. Um, if this was the only map, I wouldn't be playing Strong Arm, but it's Strong Arm's good on the other maps. It's especially good on Half and Half, where it's completely insane. This guy just sort of stopped moving, I think. Oh, he hasn't disconnected. He didn't try and get on the middle pad, which I thought was a little weird. Alright, two Pibbles together can take out a Harvester reasonably quickly. But yeah, you basically just want a War Factory, War Factory against GDI and Barracks Air Tower against Nod. And that pretty much covers covers your bases. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is block these two tiles. So if he wants to go on the pad, he has to go in range of the turret. This could be a mirror match, honestly, given the units that he's made. He hasn't made any units that aren't in my deck. He hasn't made any APCs yet, so if this is a mirror match, he's not playing it well. Because APC is like one of the best units in the mirror. The mirror is all about the APC and the Pitbull. So if it is a mirror, he should have made an APC by now. Get the APC over here and get a Talon across so the Jump Jets can't fly past me. Oh, he has got an APC. Okay, well he should have made APC way sooner. APC is super good in the mirror. Alright, cool. Looks like it was a mirror match. Fancy the Pantsy. Nats guy is saying in chat that the worst matchup he's found with this deck is Chuggy Scorpion. I think that's for sure true. Chuggy is Chuggy is the one of the hardest units to beat with this deck. Because your anti-infantry, or sorry, your anti-vehicle is Pitbull Jump Jet, and Chuggy beats Jump Jets, um, it's a pretty bad matchup. Like, if they have, uh, if they have a Chuggy plus a Scorpion, it's very, very difficult. Chuggy Marauder is, Chuggy Marauder seems like it should be very hard for the deck, and it's tough. But it's not like a really heinous matchup because you can just make Talons. And once you make Talons, they're forced to switch out of Chuggy Marauder and do something different. Because you can kill the Marauders, obviously. Um, but yeah, Chuggy Scorpion or Chuggy Tick seems like it would be the worst matchup for this deck. Because then they can kill your Pitbulls with tanks. And they can kill your, your Jump Jets with uh, Chuggies. And both of those units have Raider as well, so you can't really position against them well. So yeah, that seems like it would be the absolute worst matchup. But it's a very uncommon, like, deck. You don't see Chuggy Scorpion very often. You see Chuggy Marauder a lot more. Let's 
he why is he ignoring these dogs? Like they're just gonna kill your They're just gonna kill your lasers, bro, if you ignore them. Hey shade. Alright, I'll send these dogs to die to the shade. We're good in the APC because it's beefy. If this is a like triple air nod, which it looks like it might be because it has a shade, then APC is insanely good versus this deck. So is Talon to be fair. And Pitbull, like triple air nod is just not good versus GDI. Which I've said a lot of times, but you know. People still play it. Just hoping they queue into nod every game. It looks like that's what this is. He's got the bikes as well. And yeah, a very easy matchup for me. Like Pitbulls and Talons are insane versus this deck. Ray Dob. Alright, we're gonna go dogs first, check if we're getting rushed. Put this up here. He's open barracks, we'll just chill. Go second dog because he's open barracks. There's laser. Now, interestingly enough, with this deck, because you're transitioning into rifles a lot, you actually want to focus down their rifleman in this spot rather than the laser. Normally, you just ignore the rifleman because it doesn't affect the dogs. But because I'm going to go late, go rifleman myself, it makes sense to kill off their rifleman so they can't fight mine when it comes out. Alright, we'll have the rifles just shoot bikes. They do they do a fine job against bikes if you leave them to fight them for a while. Let's put another rifleman here. Oh, it's Chuggy. So Chuggy is the hardest hardest unit to beat in this uh, for this deck, I think. It just takes so long to kill a Chuggy with a Pitbull. Like, it's it's insane. Now the Chuggy's dead, I know he's going to bring the lasers across, so that's why I'm making Riflemen. And then we'll get a turret behind these bikes. Have a Chuggy. I'm going to go Jump Jets, even though I probably... I prefer to go Pitbull, but it won't get on the pad. Whereas the Jump Jets I know can get on the pad. The problem being that they won't beat the Chuggy. But I can bring a second one in hope. Hope that that can beat the Chuggy. Yeah, you can see this is, how, this is why this matchup is so difficult. Uh, let's get this over here. Get right from into the middle. I really need to go Talon here. Luckily, we stalled the missile long enough that I can get a Talon out. Need to kill this mutant. Shit, I didn't kill the mutant. Not killing the mutant really sucks here. Because it means there's going to be a mutant shooting my pit bulls. I'm not sure what this Chuggy is doing. I guess he's going to try and nuke my base. This is not a good... You shouldn't try and nuke the base if you haven't won the missile. Yeah, that's not a good play. Yeah, that's really not a good play. Alright, it's good an APC. Once you get the APC in position, it's a lot easier. Just going to go after my base the whole game. This is not... This is not a great play, I think. Like, we're currently equal on base damage, so... He's almost got one missile's worth, and I have one missile's worth. So he's not really gaining much by doing this. Yeah, I don't really agree with this strategy. I think going out, like, it's 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 not completely insane. If he thought he was definitely going to lose the missile, I think it's a good play to go after the base there. But, like, he was doing pretty well on the missile until he surrendered it by moving the Chuggy off. I think. And it's like, winning the missile is better than getting the Chuggy to the base, right? So... You kind of abandon the plan of winning the missile by going for the Chuggy on the base plan. If you're definitely losing the missile, I think it makes sense, right? Because then you might as well get the base damage in. But I don't think he was definitely losing the missile. Okay, let's get this down here. There jump gets here for sure. The spam jump gets to the pads and there's no way we lose, I think. And like, this is the problem, right? All that stuff he sent to the base now becomes irrelevant. Because the game has ended. Without him managing to fire a missile. So, I can see what he was going for, but I think like, it only makes sense if you definitely lost that first missile. I don't think... I don't think he had definitely lost the first missile. All right, pretty intense last game. Oh, 
almost got the block in his half. That would have been insane. If I'd gone straight for it, which I think is what I should have done. So again, we actually want to kill this rifleman. Because we're probably going to go rifles, depending on what he does. If he doesn't go second laser, I might not go rifles. Okay, there's second laser. Now he probably goes bikes. It seems to be becoming more and more common that people transition directly into bikes. So we're going to focus fire the rifleman. With dog support, we'll win. Although actually, with double laser shooting, it's going to be pretty close. No, we actually lost barely. But that's okay. Because we get the second rifle in. I should not have built this rifleman here. That was a big misplay. Because now I'm pop capped. And if he'd gone air unit, I wouldn't be able to respond. But it's okay. He went bikes instead. Yeah, there's a cat ship. If he'd, gone, if he'd just gone cat ship, I would have been in a lot of trouble. So we're going to go pitbull, and then we're going to try and get an APC built and in position. But there's a lot of vehicles right now that I need to deal with. It's also very hard to go wrong with just making pitbulls. That's why GDI is so good right now. Because pitbulls are just so freaking insane. I don't think you should ever really boost bikes, because it's the same cost as building a new bike. Unless you're trying to kill drones before a missile fires, that's the only time it's like good to boost bikes. Well, let's get the APC onto his pad. Giga Cannon, uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I need to put as much damage into this as I can. You really have to block for Giga Cannons. That was, that was not how you Giga Cannon. Okay, I think we got it. I'm just going to put a turret down here. Alright, cool. Another deck that didn't seem very good against Pitbulls. OCFCG. Alright. What do we think OCFCG stands for? I'm actually going to retarget the rifles because I want to win this rifle 1v1. Yeah, this guy's also gone straight into bikes. I actually think you probably have to go. I've started doing this as well. Like, Barracks just doesn't beat War Factory opening very well at all. Like, Wheels and Dogs both do really well against Barracks opening. Chem Warriors. Chem Warriors is definitely a problem. Chem Warriors is definitely a problem. I'm actually going to go APC here. I need to get Talons pretty soon, though. Like I was saying before, like heavy infantry is very hard to kill with this deck, so any any beefy infantry is uh, is quite difficult to fight. So mutants, chems, a little bit flames and uh, flames and shocks, but not so much. I don't want to go into this cloud because I'll take a bunch of damage. Oh, it's a giga cannon deck. Wait, giga cannon and chems and jade? That's insane. Playing giga cannon without Oxana is just insane. Alright, so yeah, keep cannon down. Jump jets are... I think jump jets are kind of broken now, to be honest. The more I've played with them, the more I've been like, okay, this unit is just absurd. Like, 40 cost unblockable is, is insane, for sure. I need to get away from this uh, giga cannon. I need to let it decharge. And then we've got to try and send in jump jets. Giga cannon can be a tricky one as well. He's gonna go and kill his harvester. Then we'll push this thing. Alright, he didn't protect it particularly well there. So, yeah, against Nod, basically just jump jets and talons is what you wanna make. Um. Oops. This needs to go over here. Let's send a town up here as well. Yeah, so as you can see, jump jet and talent. Real good against Nod. Like, I should have lost this missile ages ago. And I might win it. Yeah, looks like I might win it. 
Yep, jump jet talent. Good combo versus Nod. They're just so bad at killing light aircraft. Alright, this might be our uh, this might be our demise. I don't remember the last time I beat Peter, he always wrecks me. His deck is really good against mine as well, because it's a Predator deck, and my deck is an APC deck. He's like he plays like Predator Shock, which is actually really good against APC uh, APC Jump Jet. Uh, you also can't use pit bulls to fight predators at all, so I might go straight into jump jet trooper. Building online. He goes straight to Talon. Okay, it's kind of insane. I guess we have to go pit bull then. All right, going jump. I mean, his deck is weak first missile. This is I, I almost always win first missile against him. The problem is I almost always get shreked after this. Like once he starts building up critical massive units and using Liang to heal them, it gets very very difficult. I really need to kill this predator. Ooh, why did that jump jet turn around? What the hell? Bad jump jet. Ah, I can't balk on my talon, bro. Looks like he doesn't even need to. <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating. Yeah, rip. Literally just tanks the tanks with the Hawker until I lose the missile. I don't know how many pitbulls you need to beat a predator tank, but ever since they changed it so predators two shot pitbulls, it's like a lot. It's a lot of uh, of pitbulls that you need to beat one predator. This guy is my least favorite opponent in the game. Absolutely hate playing against this deck. Gonna go and trigger his Borker with this jump jet. Where did I put the turret? I must have misclicked it. Oh, I might have him. Maybe, one time. Mm, it's not looking good, actually. Kill it! Kill it! Ah, rip. Super close. Literally never beat Peter. <laughs> My win rate against Peter, I think, is actually like 0% now. Feels bad, man. Unlucky, my guy. Thanks, volumes. Everyone's disappointed. I'm disappointed as well, Papan J. Sometimes you lose, man. Sometimes you lose. Peter's an exceptionally good player. Alright, so now we're facing Moot. Uh, yes, he is Mars, I think. Alright, so we're gonna get this dog over here. If it makes it to the power, we should win the missile. God damn it, dog. Now we're gonna lose the missile instead of winning it. Feels bad, man. 
Yeah, didn't move the dog away fast enough. Tick tanks, alright. If this is Tick Chuggy, then it's a bad matchup, although he has Buggy, so it's unlikely to be Chuggy. Alright, we need to get as much damage on the Tick Tank while it's moving as possible. This APC might not be long for this world. I need to put a unit over here, but I don't have one available right now. Should be able to win the missile, he can't get anything on the middle pad. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll chase down this phantom because it's quite expensive. He killed like one talent with that phantom, so pretty far ahead in economy on that one. Don't just move. Jump jets. Again, we need to harass the tick tank as much as possible whilst it's on the move. I don't mind these dogs dying. I have a lot of money. I can I can swap them into a better unit. Let me build a turret game. I need to move this harvester. I think I messed it up though. I need to kill this for sure. Alright, maybe not. Might be okay. Put the harvester on the pad. Get some more pit bulls. Alright, I think we're good. Nice. So yeah, you basically just make these triple fast units with like, these these two are fast and flying effectively and this one's radar. You just make Pitbull's Talons and Jump Jets versus Nod. Alright, Serpus. Definitely not an easy day today, getting Serpus and Peter. No idea what Serpus is playing. Could be the same deck as me. He's opened rifles though, so probably not. Could be Suzaku APC. I've got to be careful against Serpus because he'll pop cap me if he can. He's always savagely pop capping. Looks like he's going to go straight into War Factory here. Pitbull, I'll go alone, Pitbull. Now he goes straight into Jump Jets, okay. Could be a mirror match based on the units so far. I don't think I'd kill these jump jets in time. No, nope, not quite. Sad. Yeah, it looks like it's a mirror match. So it's all about APCs and pit bulls, pretty much. Oops. I'll keep these alive. Probably should have just got another APC instead of going, uh, Alum. Right. 
surprised I'm so low on cash, given that he's made more APCs than me as well. And he hasn't got that much value out of them. Oh, Razorback. Okay, he has Razorback instead of Talon, I guess. Don't know why my missiles moved there. Uh, this is not looking great, because he's going to send the Razorback left. Don't think I'm killing these jump jets in time again. Oh, just about. Nice. Alright, we get a flip here, hopefully. Nice. Good job, Talon. Good job, my dude. Carrying the day. Oh, it's a completely different deck. He's got Orca as well. Alright, well, Talon is going to be very good against this. Let's see if we can chip at this, this guy at all. Don't really want to let his APC on the pad if I can help it. I don't want this guy over on the left either. I want other units like Pitbulls and Talons. Oh, I've overcommitted on Talons here. He's going to spam Pitbulls and I'm going to, I'm going to be in trouble. No, 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 jump it. No, what are you doing? Oh, no, I was trying to click my pit bull. Ah, oh, rip. Through that game super hard. Ah, oh, man. Alright, so we can X Fay. Building online. Unit ready. So we'll go double dogs because he's open barracks. Now we're just going to chill. I don't really want to go another dog with this uh, laser here. I'm just going to go for an APC instead. Not really too fussed about bikes. Bikes aren't very scary. Let's go. We want to get jump jets here. This APC was probably a mistake in retrospect. Because I can't afford the jump jets now. Although it is, uh, it is, it is Shrekking face. So maybe it's fine. Look how beefy it is. Just holding the pads forever. These two bikes are beating this bike. Oh, these two dogs, sorry, are beating this bike. By a lot. That's kind of surprising. I've never had bikes just fighting dogs like that for so long. But yeah, the dogs are actually winning by a lot, which is insane. Dude, let me build a talent. Okay, thank you, game. Let's get these dogs out of here as well. So he's got cat ship and bikes and shade. Looks like it could be another one of these triple nod can't beat GDI decks. Like triple nod air doesn't beat GDI decks. If it is the case, we'll just make a lot of pit bulls and we should win easily. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what his last unit is, but I assume it's for sure going to be fa uh, Phantom, and then he just, his deck is terrible versus GDI, basically. I mean, look, I've basically made just Pitbulls. It's like the only unit I've made in ages. I made a couple of APCs and I just made Pitbulls. 
You just can't kill them efficiently. Alright, cool. Mission accomplished. Surface again. Wow. This is a this is a rough one. I'm gonna go harvester first because we know his deck now and he's not gonna rush us. Although he could jump jet rush us. That could legitimately happen. He's not going to though. This time I'm not going to let him just go jump jets against me. I'm just going to go jump jets first, I think. I've gone double pitbull. This should work out well for me. I think he just assumed I was going to go pitbull, so he went pitbull. I went rifles because he has rifles and I think he's going to go jump jet. Wow, we uh, won that missile a lot easier than last game. <laughs> last game first missile was super sweaty. In fact, all the missiles were super sweaty last game. Alright, so he's got an APC. Got to focus down the pit bull. Can't get it. Come on, shoot the pit bull. Thank you. I need to get my own APC, but obviously we're pop capped right now, so I'm going to bring these rifles up. I'm going to attempt to lose some units here. Oh yeah, Surpus knows how to play this matchup. APC really is the best unit in the, in the, in the mirror, for sure. Just need to focus down this turret as quickly as possible. Now it's important to make a line of units so your opponent can't micro properly around it. I can't actually get anything across. He barely got on that pad in time, that was pretty sketchy. I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna run a pitbull over here and force him to block. Because if it gets on I just get the missile. No, shoot this one, what are you doing? Didn't realize my pitbull was shooting the APC the whole time, that was a pretty big cost. <laughs> Yeah, Surface knows how to play this deck. All about the APCs, my dude. All about the APCs. Now, if I get on this pad, I just win. Okay, that should be game over. Oh, I didn't realize my APC in the middle had cracked. Alright, maybe not game over. Actually, now I'm in trouble. I didn't realize the APC had gone down. That really is, uh... That is really bad. Oh, I need Talon or Jump Jet. I don't think it's going to be fast enough. Yeah, no, I messed that up. I didn't see my APC was going down. I was too focused on the right-hand pad. How does he have another turret? Didn't I just kill a turret? If he gets an APC onto the far left, I'm in trouble. Because removing them is such a, such a ball ache. Yeah, I'm in trouble here. Once he locks me out, I'm done. And that's what's happened. Uh, I've messed up. I should have gone jump jet here. Yeah, alright. Surface gets me again. Too good. This is really, this is how you play the mirror match. Like, you are just supposed to make a million APCs. That is the, the best way to do it. I should have gone jump jets at the end there. Ah, feels bad, man. Feels bad. Really bad, uh, really bad run today. Running into queuing to a lot of very good players. And losing all of them. Alright, so he's gone barracks. We'll go double dog. Since he doesn't have any infantry, we'll just transition straight into rifles. Units 
Ooh, Chuggy. Chuggy is uh, Chuggy is real good against our deck. Got to block the Chuggy because I can't let it get to my rifles. Let's just put a turret down to block it. All right, cool. So we win that first missile by just blocking out the Chuggy with the dogs. It gets a little bit trickier now because obviously Chuggy is just so good versus this deck. I have to start going APCs to kill the missile troopers so that I don't die to the lasers. And then if he has uh, mutants, I have to go Talon. Yo, Gizza. Thank you for the 25 subs, my dude. Alright, so we're gonna get the pit bulls to the middle and the APC to the middle. See if he has mutants. Ooh, close. Just lost the shell. Didn't lose the missiles, so that's not too big a deal. Another APC. Yeah, he doesn't have. If he had mutants, he would have made them by now. So we just go APC Pitbull, I think. Just he's gonna lose his guys to the cloud. All right, that's gonna be game over. Oh, interesting. He doesn't kill the APC missiles though. He just kills the shell. All right, sweet. All right, dogs first. Let's go and see what he's up to. He's got wheels. Okay, we'll go. We'll go pitbull. I'm not sure where the wheels are going. Was that bikes? It was bikes. Okay. I feel like this is not a sensible place to put your wheels because now I just get free shots on them, right? Yeah, like I just get to kill a few wheels for free. Now he's gonna he's gonna shoot the half, dude. Okay. I don't. People's first for the half will never make sense to me. Was that really worth thirty tip to get that damage on my harvester? Oh, whoops. Let's play. Uh oh, mutants. Mutants are real good against this deck. Uh, I don't know if I can block them out long enough. I think I can. Yeah, I can easily block them out long enough. What am I talking about? Okay, so I win first missile. He basically just abandoned map control. To harass my harvester a little bit. Which is why I really didn't like that play. Ooh, it's classic old school beef wall. He's got the chems and the mutants. This could be this could be tough. Although I think the way my opponent's played so far has not been great, honestly, so it probably won't be that difficult. But the matchup is it could be difficult because I am bad at killing heavy infantry. And he does have chems and mutants. I guess we'll just jump jet here. Man, he's so thirsty for the harvester. So insane. I'll never understand this man. I'll never understand why people are so thirsty. Oh, can I get the pit away? Nice. Alright. So we basically traded APC for Catalyst Missile, which is a fine trade. And we'll just spam some jump jets here. A little bit of a misplay from myself there. He needs to make chems, really, to kill these jump jets. Nope, these chems are going to be too slow. And there you go. Chem, jump jets, jump jets talent, super strong versus not. Jump jets are just OP now, man. They really are. 40 cost is not enough. They need to cost more. Alright. Yasa is back for the last game. Looks like blind double half. All right, so we'll just get on the pads with a couple of dogs. All right, so he's got rifles. So we'll knock them back a little bit. We might go APC, we might go rifles. Depends what he does next. If he goes lasers, we'll go rifles. If he transitions, we would not. All right, let's back up. He's got an air tower. He's going to go laser drones, I assume? Maybe shade? Banshee? Oh my, I didn't see that coming. Now, I did say earlier this deck is kind of bad versus Banshee and I stand by that. I'm going to put a turret down to support my uh, Pitbull because the Pitbull will lose 1v1. Alright, with the 
with the support from the turret and the extra shots I got whilst it was moving, I'm gonna win. Okay, so we should get this missile pretty easily. Assuming these dogs live, which they should, because the missiles are like a two-man squad. Alright, cool. So we beat the Banshee. Banshees are not very cost-efficient, is the thing. Like, he's playing double half, though, so he doesn't really need cost-efficiency. But yeah, Banshees, they, they beat Pitbulls and Talons 1v1, but they don't beat them. Like, two Talons beats a Banshee and costs the same amount. Oh, wow, that is a very early flame tank. Actually, it's 120. It's not that early. This is this is actually an awkward matchup for me, for sure. Because my anti again, my anti infantry is the anti vehicle. Sorry, is like jump jet pitbull, so I can't kill flame tank with jump jet, obviously. And I have to spam a million pitbulls in this matchup. Oh, a rockworm. Rockworm. I have to kill the flame tank to kill the rockworm, because I have to use jump jets to kill the rockworm. I really need to fire this missile as quickly as possible. I might just be dead, honestly. This is a this feels like a really bad matchup. So when I was saying earlier about how this deck has much worse matchups against certain units, this is a good example of that. Like I don't have an orca to kill these things, so my deck is significantly worse against these tech units than a regular Suzaku APC would be. I don't oh man, I, I might just be dead here. I'm not really sure. I see an out to Rockworms, Cyborgs, and Flame Tanks. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this spot. I think I'm just dead. This is not a good matchup for me. I don't, yeah, I don't know, I'm pretty hosed. If you lose a missile against tech, you're always dead, right? It's just the way it is. Yeah, I just got completely shrecked. Alright, well, there you go. Not great. Um, <laughs> I went 11-4. I was trying to say about how this is like the best deck in the format right now and I just got just got whooped on a bunch of times. Um, but I do I do still believe this is the best deck in the format right now. Um, it does have much worse matchups than the standard Suzaku APC, but it also has some much better matchups. That was a good example of a really bad matchup. Like, I, the only thing I have that can kill Flame Tank is a Pitbull. Um, and it takes so long to kill it, there's going to be more tech units by the time I kill it. So, you know... That's the way it goes. Uh, yeah. If I had Orca, obviously this matchup is a lot easier. Like, if I play Orca, this matchup's very easy. And the other matchups I lost were just to very, very good players. So, yeah. Oh, well. Sometimes you lose, right? I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you next time.